Hello everyone and welcome! In this video we're going to be checking out the Bowling Green Assembly Plant. Now, this is the plant where all Corvettes are made. Corvettes of all colors. Red, white, and blue. This is America, after all. Even yellow and orange Corvettes. Now, our factory tour was cut short because I, among others, spent a bit too much time in the Performance Build Center where the LS7 and the LT4 are built. Uh, that video is worth checking out if you haven't seen it yet. But anyways, we'll get a quick glimpse into how a Corvette is built. We're going to touch on uh, body chassis marriage, which is where the car actually gets sandwiched together. And then we're going to bring it to the end of the line and we'll see the complete car roll off the line. Hopefully hear some engine noises and stuff like that. Uh, along the tour, please feel free to come up to me, ask me any questions. These are the cockpit bond cell areas. This is basically where we sub-assemble our entire IP pad, which is the windshield. Here we can see a new Z06 on its way to being born. You can tell the difference, uh, several things, but one of the main ones is the clear brake lights versus the red brake lights on the standard Corvette. We put each of the individual panels like they were on a car. Like you get two quarter panels, two fenders. They all go on a rack and then they go through processing and that takes anywhere from seven to eight hours. They usually travel over around two miles of conveyor belts. So they go through a, you know, like a baking process, class theory, and stuff like that. Two miles of conveyor belts. So here we have the body chassis marriage station. And I have the footage here sped up about eight times so you can see how delicate of a process this is. Here we have some wiring going in. Every car needs a set of wheels. Uh, but as you can see, the car is actually getting set down onto its own weight at this time. Uh, we've already started quality assurance processes at this point. The, the line beyond this line is where we actually fill the car with all the essential operational fluids. Uh, you know, basically the running gear comes with all the lubrication that's necessary, like the engine transmission. That's all. It's got all of its Dexron and stuff like that. What we do is we actually put coolant into the cars. We put five gallons of uh, 93 octane gasoline into them and then we put all the brake fluid inside. And then from there we actually start the car, we run it for about six minutes, uh, depending on the car. Uh, we do a whole bunch of data logging, a little bit of testing of some of the automated stuff, you know, to keep the car idling and things like that, the EFI, uh, making sure everything is running correctly. Uh, and then it hits this little horseshoe right here, which is where we start quality assurance. And in this entire area, we're checking all of the fitment of the panels. We're making sure that we, you know, put everything together right. There's no gappage or, you know, things aren't too close and, you know, we don't have doors rubbing against the fenders or anything, messing up the paint. So uh, we do all, all the gap checks right here. We've got what's called Go No Go Stick. We, we use that to, uh, to do some quality assurance. And here we can see a Corvette drive for its very first time. So it'll go over some bumps that'll kind of sorting out uh, the suspension before it gets a wheel alignment. And these two stations here are where all of the alignment is done. So the camber, the caster, toe, etc. The Corvette then undergoes some final testing for all of the systems. And then it's placed in a shipping lot before setting off to its final destination. So, what's it like to drive? Well, you'll have to wait for my next video to find out.